Welcome back, welcome back. It is me, Britt Reacts, and today we are reacting to Norm MacDonald tells the most convoluted joke ever. Let's see what he has to say. When I was young, there was a fella uh, by went by the name of uh, Jacques de Gautier. <laughs> and he was from uh, Tamiskaming, Quebec. And Jacques de Gautier, he was a fella that really thought. And he was smart, you know. He was our hope, I guess. And he, uh, he was, uh, while I was scrambling to get out of high school, <laughs> Jacques Zagatino had already. I think he just changed his last <laughs> he definitely... name. <laughs> definitely changed his last name. Okay. Um, I, I did Google convoluted. I know what the word means. <coughs> <clears throat> Sorry, y'all. I'm getting over a nasty cold. Um, I know what it means. <clears throat> I use it often, but I wanted to make sure that I was without doubt um, understanding. I just wanted to be sure. Um, and it made me realize that my first reaction to the story, the 12-minute joke about Janice and the cheese, I feel like now this is his niche. Like, this is his stitch, right? Like, is it convoluted jokes just like, big, wordy, intelligent, smart jokes that have these like very precisely timed punches that like if you're not paying attention, you're going to miss. He feels like a scholar rather than a comedian. He's got this very like humble thing going on. I mean, like look at his dress. It's quite humble. Um, he seems like he, he could borderline be like a genius. You know what I mean? Like he just is... I, even in the like the way he delivers, I don't know. But anyway, yeah, you went and changed Jock 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 name, and so I don't think this is true. Nor McDonald. Had you know, had already. I think he just changed his last name. <laughs> <laughs> Busted. Well, you know, a man grows. He. he uh... <laughs> That is so true. How come like I, my name can't change for every time that I like grow? Like, you know, as humans, we really do, or at least we should, if we evolve the way humans should be changing. Uh, it's almost like we should come at it. Like, you know how some crust crustaceans like leave their shells behind? Like, I feel like I should have at least six names by now. I've lived so many different lives. I've been so many versions of myself. So I'm with him on this. A man can grow and thus so can his name. <laughs> But this is the point. Yeah. Jacques de Gatineau, he went to McGill <laughs> University and he got three degrees, by golly. And he went uh, to the, over across the pond to the fellers with Cambridge and he even stood up to them. Mm -hmm. And we thought, boy, he's going to be the next. We had uh, Jean Marchand, the next what? Gérald Tertier, uh, Pierre Trudeau, the three wise men of Quebec. By God, Jacques de Gatineau was going to be the next. Give me the next gun. Yeah. But he vanished. And uh, I met him, uh, I started to do stand-up and, and travel from here to there and, and to here again. <laughs> and uh, one, uh, one time I was in... Uh... It comes off so, like, truly conversational that you don't realize you're listening to a joke and a comedian. Like, this feels like he's really at the table. Maybe he's had too much to drink. His story doesn't make sense. It doesn't, the dots are not connecting. But you have to, like, remind yourself, like, no, this is a joke. It's so good. <laughs> And uh, one, uh, <laughs> one time I was in uh, Niagara Falls, and uh, by uh, gosh, I went over to the uh, uh, Sea World there. You know how they have the Sea World? <laughs> you know, with the different fish. <laughs> you know. The I didn't know that, but okay, yeah. yeah. Yes, Niagara Falls. Sea World, I've been sure. there many a time. Okay, so I was checking out the beluga whales and stuff, and I look over, and who do you think I see? I hope it's that guy. No, it was, uh, <laughs> uh, it was just an attendant, but... Uh, <laughs> But he showed me to the place I wanted to see, which is where they feed the, the little baby dolphins. Because I love... Is this a, like, freestyle joke? Like, is he just coming off the top of his head with this? Or is this something, like, he does on stage? Let me know in the comments. To the place I wanted to see, which is where they feed the, the little baby dolphins. Because I love dolphins, you know? And uh, who too. do I see there? I love dolphins. But Jacques de Gatineau. <laughs> and here he is. He's feeding the baby dolphins. <laughs> And I go up to him and I go, Jacques de Gatineau, I, I feel shame for you. You were our hope. 
you were to go to Canada, uh, uh, Canada's nation's capital of uh, Ottawa. <laughs> and you, what? you were to be a great man, Jacques de Gatineau. Is the capital of Canada, can Canada, Canada, Ottawa? Isn't Canada split in like, is that the nation's capital? Oh Lord, I sound stupid. Help me out, y'all know geography is not my, it's not my ministry. So judge your mama. I'm asking you so that you can edu educate me, please, and thank you. Um, that obviously just threw me for a loop. Like, what are we talking about at this point? How is he in at, at the Niagara Falls SeaWorld, but he went missing? And something about the three princes of Quebec and Cambridge. I'm lost. <laughs> and I think that's right where Norm wants me to be, is lost. <laughs> and you, you were to be a great man, Jacques de Gatineau. And we were all, you know, we pinned our, all of, all of Temiskaming Quebec pinned our hopes on you. Now that's a, that's a hell of a burden for a man to have a town's hope pinned on them, isn't it, Conan? It is a lot, big burden. So he was feeding these baby uh, dolphins, you know, and I said, I'm ashamed of you, Jacques de Gatineau. You could have done so many great things. And he said, well, he said, I think I'm serving a youthful porpoise. Now I believe that, uh, <laughs> humor and the fact that it it makes you feel like you just got off of a tornado ride is that where the humor comes in because i think it's hilarious i think how i feel right now is hilarious but like should i be this confused or should i have understood is really what i want to know do you know what's going on no. <clears throat> okay no. i think i'm good i'm I in the right place that was gonna happen I knew that was You gonna don't happen. encourage that. Oh. It's like That was a 40 minute story. <laughs> it's like somebody Youthful Poipus? Youthful Purpose. Yes. Not Poipus. I don't know. Good God. I know. That was that was way out of line. No, that was way out of Who are like you to criticize saying... Oscar Pistorius? <laughs> it's like somebody saying, I gotta show you something. They take on a four mile hike to show you a dog turd. <laughs> That was a great way of putting it. And now that these two gentlemen feel the same way I feel, I feel validated in my feelings. And I feel like that is the trip that Norm wants us to be on. He wants us to feel like we just took a shroom. Mission accomplished, Mr. McDonald. Mission accomplished. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He fell through his knees. Okay. <laughs> Look at it. Well, there's your reel for CBS. <laughs> we're getting this, Les we're getting this right to Les Moon. Yeah. I gotta have him. You wanna see that every night, Les? <laughs> <laughs> More Quebecois humor. <laughs> I love you. I really do. You know that, right? Oh, I love that. They like handed it to him at the end. Like, sir, what in the world was that? <laughs> No one's ever going to want to bring you on their show if that's what you're peddling. That's hilarious. I get it. I get it. I get his I get his thing. And I do find it really hilarious because it's it's so unorthodox as if I know a ton about comedy. But like it's not traditional comedy where just someone stands up and it's but it makes you think. And then you're like, why am I thinking this hard about this? And then you're like, wait, this is funny. But wait, what was I just what? <laughs> and that's where the humor is. And his delivery is. It's so it's so conversational. It's scary because you really don't think you're listening to someone tell a joke. And then all of a sudden you're hysterically laughing. And that is a gift, my friend. So Norm MacDonald, I think I get why you are the goat, why you are goaded for so many comedians. Because as I mentioned before, Shane Gillis said that he was a goat. And then the next night I overheard Dave Chappelle saying the same thing. And I'm like, I said that as if I was in the room with Dave Chappelle. You had to watch the reaction to know what I meant by that. Dave, My husband was watching Dave Chappelle's most recent uh comedy special and I was like passing through in the kitchen getting something to drink or something and I heard him bring up Norm's name and I was like wait a minute what and it was like the day I had just reacted to Shane talking to Theo about Norm so now I get it I definitely think 
he he has a place in the Hall of Fame for comedy. And uh, I enjoyed that, even though I still have no idea what that was about. All right, friends, do me a favor. If you also had a good time, subscribe to my channel. Duh. Like this video, share it with a friend, and leave a comment down below. I want to talk to you. All right? I want to hear from you. I want to know what you got to say. I just said I want to talk to you, but those weird bots and scammers in my, in my comments saying that, I would never comment, I want to talk to you. Because, well, I would be talking to you, wouldn't I? So don't fall for those, all right? <laughs> Anyway, guys, I love you. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you have the day that you deserve. Ta-ta.